<laughs> Viva La Vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer, which is, are raw food people vegan? This is a good one. I get asked this quite a lot and the short, simple answer is not necessarily. Now, people who follow the raw food diet, um, they believe that their diet should be um, close to 100% of uncooked foods and organic foods at that. Now I've noticed in the past few years a lot of raw people are moving away from the 100% um, uncooked diet. I see a lot more people advocating for 75% to 80% raw, um, raw till 4 or similar sort of things like that. I definitely agree that a raw diet's really good but I would stop at about 80%. I don't agree with 100% raw. Even though a large majority of raw people are vegan, being raw doesn't necessarily mean that you're vegan. So I know quite a few um, raw people who I would consider vegan, as in they consume honey. Um, they're vegan except for the fact that they consume honey. And if you're not aware that honey is not a vegan product, then I suggest you check out my video on the matter. There are also raw people who consume raw animal products and that's definitely not a vegan thing. A lot of raw food people predominantly care about their health whereas for a lot of vegans the predominant reason that they're vegan is because of animals, animal rights, animal ethics, not hurting, harming or killing any of our animal friends. Health is a great reason um, for someone to find out more about the vegan diet, but I do believe that learning about the other reasons like the ethics, environmental issues and other things is really the best way to maintain the vegan lifestyle. I definitely agree with eating as healthily as you can and I think you can all of us can utilize some of the raw food movement um, ideas such as eating more organic food um, less processed food sprouting juicing smoothing all these sort of things are really great ideas to implement into a vegan diet or just a mainstream type diet as well and if you'd like some more information on this, I suggest you check out livingfoods.com and Jack Norris always has some great information on health on his veganhealth.org website. I hope that's answered your question and um, make sure you join us here every Tuesday for our question and answer series and every Friday on our podcast. And next week we're going to talk about what the UK is like for vegans and activism. See you then.